for bringing us into his presence here today and today. The word of God says in his presence was fullness of joy. And at his right hand side are pleasures forevermore. We pray that today we'll find pleasure in his presence in Jesus' name. We pray that our joy will be overflowing in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. In the name of the Lord, we are. We are introducing uh, something new to the virtual church this morning. Brother Melari Brewer went to church and brought the, the keyboard. So he will be leading us in the in the time of praise and worship. Uh, maybe for about 15 minutes. And then we go into we go into the prayer. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's just lift up our hands again to God. This morning. Let's bless his holy name. Let's magnify him. Let's adore him. The wonderful Father. I say, I say, Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, brother. Praise the Lord. Can we mute our foot? Can we mute? Great are 
Lift up your voice and begin to Lord, worship the Lord, King of Kings. Lift up your voice and begin to worship the King of Glory. Lift up your voice and begin to proclaim the, the name of the Lord. He is the El Shaddai. He is the Adonai God, the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end of everything. The one that sees the future from now. The ones that can determine the end of every man from the beginning. Just Lord, worship the king, like the one king who was, who is, and who is yet to come. The ancient of days, the almighty, the all-powerful, the all-knowing all God, the father king. of we all. Father, we worship you. We say Father, we give you all the glory. Father, we give you all the honor. Be exalted, O God. Be glorified, O God. Be magnified, O God. Thank you, Father, because we know you are worthy to be praised. We give you all the glory, O Lord. We give you all the glory, O Lord. We give you all the glory, O God. Powerful. Thank you, King. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Blessed be your wonderful name. We bless name, your holy name. Blessed be your holy name, King of Glory. Thank you, Lord Blessed Jesus. Blessed be your wonderful name, Lord of Lords. Glory mm. be to your name, Lord Almighty. This is another month. And normally, on the first Sunday of every month is our Thanksgiving. A time to come together to thank God for the past month and to thank him for the month that we, have ent we are entering into or that we are already into. We're going to sing this song just one time and then we will pray. Immortal, invisible, God only wise, enlightened, accessible, eat from eyes, most blessed, most glorious, Thy patience of days, Almighty, be Thy great name we praise. So in your own voice, I want you to thank God for the month of April. Thank you. God has safely brought you into this thank month. Thank you, Lord, for the new month. Not just you. Thank you. You Lord, and your household. And the Lord of Lords. Bless Thank the name of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Give him glory. Give him honor. Give him all adoration. Father, Father we thank you, O oh Lord, for Blessed this month of April. Of Father, despite all Blessed that is happening, we have chosen to give you thanks. Father, because you said all in all things we should give you thanks. Father Lord, we say be thou exalted, O God. I thank you for January. Thank you for February. Thank you for March. And I'm thanking you. Oh Lord God Almighty, we even for the month the of April, for the month of April, Father Lord God Almighty, we say be thou exalted. Father Lord, we say be glorified. Father, we say be magnified. Father, we say be exalted. Father Lord, we say be thou glorified. Oh God, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. Blessed be your holy name. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty Hallelujah. name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. 
we're going to read the book of Philippians chapter 4. And we're going to take Philippians chapter 4 from verse 4 to 7. It says, Rejoice in the Lord always. Again I say, Rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to all men. The Lord is at hand. Verse 6 says, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, we guard your heart and mind through Christ Jesus. We're thanking God, and at the same time, we are resting in the hope and in the knowledge that we have God as our God. The Bible is telling you not to be anxious for anything. He says in everything, in every situation, in every circumstance, in everything, by prayer and supplication, we thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. Rejoice in the Lord. Again, I say rejoice. Let that be your watchword as we go into this month. Despite all that is happening around us, let us make up our mind to rejoice in the Lord. You know why? Because we are the children of the living God. Because the Bible tells me that he that watches over me neither sleep nor slumber. Because my father is the everlasting God. So you are going to raise up your voice and you are going to declare that, Father, I choose to rejoice in you. I choose to be glad in you because you are my rock, because you are my shade, because you are my resting place. I choose to rejoice in you. I want you to make that declaration with you and your household. I choose to rejoice in you, O oh God, because you are my backbone, because you are my shelter, because you are my resting place. I choose to rejoice in you. I choose to put my trust in you. I choose to hope in you. I choose to be glad in you, O oh Lord, because you are my strength, because you are my resting place, because you are my shelter. Because in you I find refuge. Father, I choose to rejoice in you. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Verse 7 says, And the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard your heart. I want you to pray that the peace of God we be in the heart of every man and woman all over the world in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray that the peace of God. Pray that the peace of God. We guard your heart. Despite all that is going on in and around you. Despite the worries. The situation at hand calls for people to be anxious, but the Bible tells you not to be anxious. And because you are a child of God, we choose to go by what the Lord is saying. So pray for the peace of all the nations. Pray for peace of God to guard the heart of man and woman all over the world. My Father, my God, I pray. That your peace will guard our hearts. Your peace will guard the heart of the women. Your peace will guard the heart of the man. Your peace will guard the heart of children all over the world in the mighty name of Jesus. Your peace that passes all understanding that man cannot understand. Let that peace, O oh Lord, surround us as a shield in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we give you all the glory. Be exalted, O God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. At this time, I want us to remember those who are sick from this coronavirus. And I want you to pray. 
the healing power of God with flow from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet. That God, in His infinite mercy, will touch them and that God will heal them in the mighty name of Jesus. My Father, my God, I cry to you today because you are the great healer. Because you are the great healer. Father, heal this one, so God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Stretch forth your hands, oh God, and touch them. You are the balm in Gilead. My Father, my God, by your stripes, the Bible says we were healed. It's something that has been completed. My Father, Lord, I pray, heal this one, so God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Heal this one, so God, in the mighty name of Jesus. As many, O oh Lord, that have been streaking, O oh Lord, Baba, with this disease, Lord, I pray, that your healing virtue will flow from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet today, O oh Lord. And Father, you will bring restoration in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Father, we say be that we exalted, O God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. One more time, I want us to lift up our voice. For as many that have been consumed by this disease, those that have lost their mind, whether those that have lost their, their lives in line of duty, or those that lost their mind because they were sick and this disease killed them, let us pray that God will comfort their families. Let us pray that God will bring hope back to those who are hopeless today. Let us pray that God will restore joy back to these families in the mighty name of Jesus. My Father, my God, I cry to you today. As many, O oh Lord, that have died because of this COVID-19. Father, Lord, I pray that you comfort them, O oh Lord. Comfort the family, Lord. Father, you are the great comforter. I pray that, Father, you will comfort them, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. My Father, my God, I pray you comfort this one, O God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, comfort them, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, speak your peace, O oh Lord, even into their hearts in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, I give you all the glory. Be thou exalted, O God. Be thou exalted, O God. Be thou exalted, O God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, because I know you are worthy to be praised. Father, we give you all the glory. Be thou exalted, O God. In Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed. Amen. Amen. I want you to pray for this month of April. We have entered it already. Pray that God will see you through this month in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Pray that the Lord God Almighty will go ahead of you. That every valley will be exalted. Every mountain and hill will be brought low. That the crooked places shall be made straight. And the rough places will be made smooth. That the glory of the Lord will be revealed over you. And all flesh shall see it together because the mouth of the Lord has spoken this. Pray that God of peace we guide you through even in this month in the mighty name of Jesus. My Father, let your peace guide me through, O Lord, this month. Father, go ahead of me, O Lord, into the month of April. In the mighty name of Jesus. My Father, according to your word in the book of Isaiah chapter 4, he says the valley, every valley shall be exalted. Every mountain and hill will be brought low. Father, you said the crooked places shall be made straight and the rough places will be made smooth. Father, reveal your glory in the land, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. In this month of April, we want to see your glory. In this month of April, Father, I want to see your glory.
In this month of April, let my family see your glory. In this month of April, let United States of America see your glory. In this month of April, let the whole world see your glory. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, be exalted, O God. Father, be glorified, O God. Father, be lifted up, I, O God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Father, we bless your holy name. We say, be exalted. Thank you, O Lord God Almighty, because you have given us the grace to come before you. Everyone that is afraid, O Lord. Father, Lord, I pray you will calm them down in Amen. the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Everyone that is scared, everyone that is not certain, because of the situation going on around. You are the God of peace. Mm. You are the God of peace. I pray that you give them your peace today. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Be with us, O Lord. Amen. We have already stepped into this month. Father, Lord, I pray your glory, your presence will go with us wherever we go. Amen. In the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. Let it be well with us, O God. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah.